ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is your boy James, a.k.a. Hollywood J. Black, live in the building once again. Back with another Sinful Black Reacts. I got my mans. My main man. Big MF in Philly Sid is at the building, sir. How you doing today, sir? Man, it's relaxing. What the fuck are you talking about, Philly Sid? <laughs> well, he's having a Philly. Or is it, or is it, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I'm jealous because I can't have Phillies because I don't live in Philly and nobody makes good Phillies out in Florida. Um, we I've been betrayed by the uh, people. I, I, if I could somehow single-handedly deliver the Great Steak and Potato Factory to us here in Florida, I would. Okay, it's just it's not going to happen. But it's okay. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Go ahead, okay. sir. What's going Welcome. on? Welcome. <laughs> we got we got <clears throat> we got an old favorite in the building today. We got our big homie Dax. Um, we haven't seen him on the channel since Dear Alcohol, but he's got something new for us. No, no, no I want to talk about this shit for a second, cause hold on, no, no, we gotta you gotta you gotta give let, let me hit, let me get on my soapbox for a second. All right. So when the baby metal fans when we drop a baby metal video. Baby metal fans come through. They love it. They hate, either hate it, like it, or dislike it. They show us a ton of love or hate either way. Mostly love. I don't think we ever got true hate on the baby metal video, except the one time I said that we're the best. But, you know, I'm just being cocky as opposed to anything else. Um, even when we talk shit about band made, okay, you know, people came through. They were kind of bad or they, or they left the opinion. And that's just how it is, right? Fine. Whatever. Cool. Hell, when I come through with a Tom McDonald video, Tom McDonald fans show up, show us a bunch of love, everything is cool. How come every time that we post a Dax reaction, and this is not just us, and I've been noticing a trend, that when it comes to the Dax reactions on not only our reaction channel, but on other reaction channels, that the number of views that go on those are significantly less than are the counterparts. Even when we, 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 we take artists that are more independent than Dax, right? That, 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 that very obscure artists, and we'll get more comments and views on that video than we will get on a Dax reaction. It took us to See, have I the Dax. Oh, go ahead. I think it's YouTube's algorithm when it comes to Dax. Well, I th it's bullshit. That's fucked up because, listen, it took it took Snow the product, the, the, the song with him and Snow, to get the kind of mm -hmm. uh, viewership that we are normally used to. And like I said, it's not, a, it's, not a, it's not like the wall is covered with comments. I'm not saying that. But when, when we look at a Snow reaction, right, and then look at look at our Dax reactions. And we market it just the same. We hashtags and yeah. we put it in the right places. But I feel like Dax's fans, as well as YouTube algorithms, don't show up properly. Even though this man is hitting three, four, five, six million views. Where's the respect on this man's name when it comes to react when it comes to reactions? Where's the respect on this man's name when it comes to his lyrical talent? Y'all cats have been sleeping on Dax for too long, just like y'all was sleeping on Ritz, and and he's about he's 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 about to give y'all a wake up call pretty soon. If you didn't know about the new album that's gonna drop, but I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm, I'm gonna let Ritz do what he do, okay? And don't forget about Young Merc. Young Merc, y'all was sleeping on Young Merc. Young Merc fans will come back. I don't. We don't get as many comments as we used to, but we still we get more views right now than we did before. With Young Merc. And that's fine. I love the views. If you don't want, and, and likes. Maybe not active comments, but it's fine. Whatever. But the Dax fans, y'all need to fucking show up. I'm tired of, you know what I'm saying, the crickets in the Dax comments. I'm he tired. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm tired of y'all bullshit. I know that he's a top-tier rapper. And I fully believe that he's a top-tier rapper. But the fact that y'all don't show up to tell me that's a top tier that he's a top-tier rapper make me feel like y'all don't feel like he's a top-tier rapper. So this is what I'm going to challenge you to do. Go ahead. I was about to say, and also it's the reason why we miss a lot of his videos. Yeah, because everything, remember, everything that we do on YouTube is for a reason, right? And so if we catch it right at the right moment and we catch lightning in a bottle, like we just did the Electric Cowboy video 
And and the other the the the, uh, the Conquer Divide showed up on the Electric Cowboy debut video. So don't tell me yeah. that we don't have some kind of sum at stake when it comes to this. Like I love meeting these bands and people and like, sharing okay, their so, art. We love so it. Can I do a little can I do a little name drop real quick? Yeah. Artists who have come to our channel and thank us for doing the reactions include the entire Grind Mode Army. Yep. Ninja Sex Party. Yep. Chris Webby. Yep. Mercury's on numerous occasions. Yep. Jamo Ski. Yep. Rich shout us out on Instagram. Yep. Lexa Hexmaster. Yep. Don Para. Yep. Fucking, I can go on and on and on. And um, the one that you just mentioned, um, we've also had the. So rock bands come through and show us up. The dude from um, Slaughter to Prevail. Yep. We had fucking the guy called Thor, o- Thor Odinson, the one on the on the Thunder Rose rock version. Yep. We, look, they recognize us and what we do. Yeah, and, and this Dax is fan, Dax fans are just weird. Yeah, <laughs> and I think Dax has even said something one time of of all the. If I remember back in the early, I'm pretty sure Dax has said something. Way, way, way back, like when we first start reacting to his shit. I think it was when we did his joke. The yeah, when we did Joker. The first video we did of his was Joker. Dax showed up. Where was y'all? Why is y'all under his comments like, "Yo, Dax, fucking love your shit, bro." I love Dax's flow. I think Dax is the top tier MC, and I'm not the only one on, on this regard because he's getting millions of views on his shit. I'm just saying. If y'all real fans, wherever Dax is mentioned, y'all need to be showing love like the baby metal fans, the fucking, uh, all, all the Japanese rock bands. Japanese rock bands got y'all beat. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Hands like, down. Hands down. Like, like, like the, uh, the, the, the Swedish fans and the, the European fans, when we do, uh, when we do Sabaton and, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, and, and what is it, Electric Cowboy, like that? Dude. Wait, the, the Electric Cowboy shit. That fans show out. Yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> that video, though, for a non-Baby Metal, non-Nema Phillip, non-Love Bites video, yep. the, vi- the Electric Cowboy video from yesterday morning, from this morning, yep. is about to pull more views than probably all of our DAC stuff combined. There is a reason why I say we are Norway's favorite reactor. There's a reason why I repeat this over and over again. Okay? And there's a reason why there's a t-shirt. Link will be in the description starting on the 15th. Oh, oh, okay? oh, and your boy Dax is from Canada. We are number, Canada is number three. That's right. On our shit. So, where y'all at too, Canadians? Say it. Show Dax some love. Even if you don't come up to our shit and show me love, you know what I'm saying? You be like, you can you can come on the channel and be like, F you, sinful black, but we here showing love for Dax. I would be cool with that because any I, response is better than no response. And that's how the that fuck I feel. To, you say that shit to us? And I'll be like, thank you. Have a good day. Yes. Thank you. Come again. All right? So now that I've gotten... Now like, I'm, I used to do, like I used to do to piss off the band name fans. Exactly. Damn it. Damn it, ass me. All right. So now, now, now let, me, let me put my soapbox away. All right. Let's get back to our regularly scheduled program. Six minutes into the video, they already turned <laughs> off. Yes, my two-minute soapbox that lasted six minutes, okay? I get it, okay? Damn. All right, so Big Sin, Dax got a new video, Searching for a Reason. We're obviously here. That's what we're reacting to. And the thumbnail is him <laughs> like the Mad Hatter. That's so you already know that the Allison. That's what drew me to it because you know, you know I like the character-driven Dax songs. Yes. So We're all mad here. That's all I'm going to say. So, Big Sin, are you ready to find out how deep the rabbit hole goes? For sure. Uh, <laughs> all right, so without further ado... This is Big Chungus. I mean, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is Dax. Searching uh, for reason. Up, Doc? <laughs> Ooh, it stinks. Nice and good. <laughs> you want to find out how deep the rabbit hole goes? Hit play. Hit Searching play. for a reason. Right here on Simple Black Reacts. Let's go. It's Dax in Wonderland, baby. I'm late, I'm late, I'm a little bit late. Represent the ball, fool. Get you, Sean Prosper. You are all right, mate. 
Trust gets you killed, love gets you hurt, beat real gets you hated. So tell me what it's worth. I didn't see these people change and try to twist up all my words. I've been stuck inside a maze. They say that means that I'm on earth. If they wanna know my pain, then they can read it in a verse. If they pray in all my name, it pay to be inside a church. Don't need diamonds, don't need chains. I ain't a slave to all these perks. I ain't perfect, but I'm working. God, I swear that I'm so searching for a reason. Now I'm trying to like I'm diving off the deep end. Underwater, don't nobody hear me screaming. I'm surrounded by these money hungry demons. I'm surrounded. So many fakes, I stopped counting. No gravity, but I'm still grounded. They can't see cause their vision is clouded. Man, I feel like I'm walking on mountains. My heart broke, but yes, it's still pounding. Lost my soul and then went and found it. I hope heaven ain't too low grounded. Hell ain't worth it, I scream and shout it. Forget about all of the followers Jesus had 12 disciples If they tell you it's fake It's cause they ain't fought for survival No, when they facing the judges Don't put their hand on the Bible Got my faith like a gun And I let it off like a rifle I keep speaking the truth And I do not care if it's viral I ain't changing for nothing No getting trapped in your cycle Cause I know failure ain't fatal And that success isn't final I got love for my enemies You can check all my vitals All the negative energy Is a downward spiral You can cancel me laughing me Call me out of my title It won't break me or shake me No, I will not my dreaming Why are these times so misleading I don't see God but believe him And I don't need fame You can keep it Trust gets you killed Love gets you hurt Being real gets you hated So tell me what it's worth I didn't see these people change And try to twist up all my words I've been stuck inside a maze They say that means that I'm on earth If you walked inside my shoes You would last a day I ain't got nothing to lose By having some faith I ain't got nothing to prove To people who hate So what I'm finna do Say it again, yeah. Trust gets you killed, love gets you hurt, beat real gets you hated. So tell me what it's worth. I didn't see these people change and try to twist up all my words. I've been stuck inside a man. They say that means that I'm on earth. If they wanna know my pain, then they can read it in a verse. If they pray in all my name and pay to be inside a church. Don't need diamonds, don't need chains. I hate a slave to all these perks. I ain't perfect, but I'm working. God, I swear that I'm so searching for a reason. I'm like I'm not Money Yo. Dear God, protect us from anything that wasn't sent by you. Amen. So I want to say that at least one, we now know the origin story of the Mad Hatter. <laughs> That's always good to know. I don't know what you're talking about. I listen. It's, I always want to know where the fuck you came from. I, you know, some people don't. I did. So, so the this was one of his better vocal performances. This is one of his better songs. This, as, it, like, yeah. let's let, let me let me let me put it to perspective for a second. If you turn on the radio right now, like right now, right on the hip hop station, everybody sounds like this, but you can't understand. Them. You're not wrong. Okay. They'd be talking in mumbles and bullshit. And, you know what I'm saying? Right? It's all juvenile's fault. Yeah. Damn that. You know, ain't that, ain't If you think about it, this is really all cash money except Lil Wayne's fault. Okay, so like, because think about it. Think about the kids that are in the rap game right now, right? How old were? How old are they now? They're in their late twenties, right? Early thirties. What is the music that they would have listened to when they were kids? Oh, I rest my case. All right. So, um, the whole point of what I'm trying to say is that stuff like this is again needs to be on the radio. See, Sin knows I'm right. That's why he's laughing. And he can't stop because he knows exactly I'm right. He he knows it. He said we, his mama was their mamas. Uh, we're dancing to back that ass up um, in the club trying to find them some stepdaddies. I'm just saying. How do I know this? Because I was there. And so what's it? Just saying. Just saying. All right. <laughs> but <laughs> he knows I'm right, too. Also, their mamas, their, their mamas were in the club trying to get low as well, trying to find another stepdaddy after they couldn't find the first stepdaddy. And that's just. Then when they couldn't stand up on their knees and, um, yeah, they had a kid. Yeah. Shh. So. From the window to the wall. All right. So, anyways, 
<laughs> but the point of what I'm trying to say is, is that it sounds like this that on the radio right now, like the, vocally, like like well, no, uh, look, from a from a musical perspective, if they were to put this song on the radio right now, they'd be like, "Who is that? How come he sounds so, you know, educated, but at the same time I can relate to him so very well? What is going on? How come we can't hear more of this on the radio now?" And that would be the question that's being asked. And then I would have to tell you what well, the radio's paid off because all the radio stations are owned by three companies. And all three companies yep. have each 10 major Lekker labels under them. And why yeah. would they put that on? Oh, you want to know what the funniest commercial, the funniest thing I hear on radio right now is? What? People, please tell your government to not let the radio stations to stop streaming services so the radio stations can keep on playing your favorite music. Then I get to thinking, I'm like, hold on. Didn't y'all motherfucking radio, same radio station try to charge Tech Nine twenty five thousand dollars just to play Red Red Nose like three times? Well, you know what? And it now is. you're begging for us to, you know what I mean? No, what I'm you. saying is, you've been now begging the people <laughs> because streaming services have basically canceled radio stations. Yeah, that's 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 that wasn't surprise. I'm not surprised at so, that because so I you, thought. Wait, you know, you know what I got to say about that? What? How does it feel, bitches? <laughs> so what I told you was so actually when Tech told you that the tech wasn't going mainstream, that the mainstream was going mainstream tech, tech. Okay. When he told you this, this wasn't some kind of uh some some kind of you know slogan, okay? This was this was it, it wasn't was a prediction, prophecy. it was a spoiler, as Paul Heyman would say, right? Because look what has happened since. The majority of the artists that you hear now that are actually famous, guys like Playboy Cardi, uh, guys like x Nation, and you know what I'm saying, before he passed Sorry, away. Sorry, I just, when you, said that, when you said that first name, I saw my brain. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, though, those guys, the reason why hip-hop uh, hip hop is in the state it's in is because you no longer need a record label to get your music out. Because remember, once Tech Nine made that made, made that proclamation, a few years passed and SoundCloud became a thing, right? Yep. And you could use your cell phone to create songs on SoundCloud. You could have a shitty beat in the background and just start rapping on your microphone and your headset, and you could just drop a little SoundCloud rap. Okay. The independent scene is is thriving right now because of the proclamation that Tech Nine did so many years ago. Almost 20 years ago, he said the mainstream was going tech. And he dropped Killer, which is one of the most craziest albums of all time. He dropped Ever Ready, which, which is the most for whatever great. reason, the old school Tech Nine fans hate that album. I love fucking Ever Ready. I don't give a shit. Y'all can kiss my black ass. No, he said Killer. He said, he said Killer. No, I love Killer, but I said Ever Ready too. Like, if you hate Ever Ready, but you're. Yeah, because Killer. Yeah, if you ain't ever ready, you just fuck the fuck off. You're not even a nine fan yeah. on that one. But but Killer was a great album too, because Killer had the waitress, right? I love you, right? but fuck you. I love you, but fuck you. Yep, the double album. Yep. with the fucking Michael Jackson lay down on it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Don't tell. Listen, all these old school tech fans. Listen, y'all bought the CD and y'all was rocking the shit. And now what? Twenty years later, did you want to be fifteen years? Twenty years later, I didn't like it. I didn't like this song anyway. You no, know, if you if if you remember the last concert you went to, that one dude was on the side talking shit about Killer, and Travis O'Grady was like, "Man, get this motherfucker out of here." Yeah, <laughs> get the fuck out of here, son. What the fuck, dude. Killer was one of uh, dude. I I don't even think there has ever even been a bad Tech Nine album. There are some that I like more than no, others. No. That I the, the, but I don't think I've never disliked a Tech Nine album. I I, I think I think we can both agree. Absolute Power was. Probably the best one because that one we listened to so much got stuck in my CD player. It would be the only CD that the CD player would play. If I really had this, if I really had to give you a top three, um, because I love as much as I love Angelic, it would be top. If it was a f- top five, it would be I'd be okay. But if you want to give me a top three Tech Nine, it really goes like this: Absolute Power, Ever Ready, All Sixes and mm-hmm. Sevens. And that's it. That'd be a top so three. So for me, for me, it's for me. Top three is Absolute Power, uh-huh. KOD, and Ever Ready. See, KOD was good. It was really good. KOD was fantastic. It was really good. But all sixes and sevens was a fucking masterpiece. Oh yeah, that that was that was his introduction to a lot of different 
genre of fan because Yellow Wolf, Buster Rhymes, Twister, you know what I'm saying? You had all these cats on that track. Hey, hey. You had Lil Wayne on there. You had everybody on there. Hey, don't forget about that was the introduction to Kendrick and J-Rock. See? That was my yeah. motherfuckers don't realize that shit. That album was Twister. But see, now we're, we're off track. Now we're, now we're on Tech 9. But the point is... is sorry, the- sorry, Dax. Dax, this shit was fire. Keep doing your thug business. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But the point of what I'm trying to say is, is that Dax, is, I feel, is in that mold where... He's an independent artist. He is doing his own thing, and he gets a ton of love. Um, whenever I don't, I don't never hear anybody ever say a bad thing about Dax. You know what I'm saying? I I love Dax. I just want the fans to represent Dax more. What, yes. what I want them to be, I want them motherfuckers to be all over everybody, everybody's reactor page. If they haven't, re, if those reactors haven't reacted to Dax, guess what? You tell them, react to Dax. Them boys, sinful black, reacted to Dax. Why y'all ain't reacting to Dax? Like y'all motherfuckers need to start it with Gmo Ski also. Yeah, the same shit. Gmo Ski, I, uh, uh, fucking Richmond Goat, goddammit. Shit, Devin asked me. So now, now that I've hyped up everyone, Big Six, <laughs> yes. let the people know what they can do to join us as we defend our title as Norway's favorite reactor and we become the reactors of infamy. As the power of Norway courses through my veins, <laughs> what I need you to do right now, my warriors, is like comment and subscribe. <laughs> so you can join us as we become the reactors of infamy and join us as and be we can become your favorite reactors. Because we're your favorite artist, favorite reactors, and of course, as he said, we are Norway's favorite reactors. That's right, that's right. So until next time, that's my man Big Sin. I'm your boy, Hollywood J. Black. This is Simple Black Reacts, and we are out this thing. Deuces.